Hello and welcome back to BombG News. My name is Andron and I'll be covering news that I found interesting today. The Epic Games Store signed another exclusivity deal that has fans up in arms. Yep, this is yet another game that was a timed exclusive, but this time was backed on Fig. Outer Wilds obtained a total of $126,000 back in September 2015. At that time, the company was planning to release through Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux, but four years later, that goal was changed. On a post published May 10, 2019, developers Mobius Digital announced that Outer Wilds will be released first on Xbox One and PC via the Epic Games Store. Unlike previous titles, however, the backers who signed up in hopes of getting their copy of Outer Wilds on Steam at launch will now have to wait until the exclusivity window drops to play their games or deal with getting it on the Epic Games Store. The Outer Wilds subreddit was immediately filled with cries of bait and switch, as well as backers beginning to demand refunds from Fig. One popular post by user Dair, titled Epic Store Themed Exclusive Confirmed, had its comments locked after just two days of being up due to the thread turning hostile super quickly. While on the outside, it appears that the backers are just unhappy to have to get the Epic Games version instead. The issue lies in being forced to install and use the Epic Games launcher when they had no intention of ever using it at time of purchase. This kind of tactic may benefit both the developer Mobius Digital and Epic Games, but fans are not happy at all and are making sure they are heard. Starbreeze Studios may be facing closure before the end of the year. Last year, a reporter on Starbreeze seeking reconstruction to fix its issues, however, it appears that move did not pan out. According to MCV, Starbreeze confirmed that it expects a liquidity shortfall later this year, which means they will no longer have enough cash to outweigh their expected costs. Year-over-year -year losses and projects failing to become profitable for the company appear to be the blame. This is very clear in the case of Overkill's The Walking Dead, where Skybound Games terminated its contract with them following its release. This was because it, quote, did not meet standards nor was it the quality that was promised. At the time of this writing, all signs point to the studio shuttering its doors before the end of the year unless it could find funds to keep itself afloat. The studio has managed to avoid large-scale downsizing so far, but with no projects in the pipeline for release anytime soon, things aren't looking great. Well, that's all the news I found interesting today. Feel free to share any awesome gaming news you may miss in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. A big thank you to Gabriel Skaggs, Michael Slater, and all awesome patrons for your support.